Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to pull a Docker image, which is a Ubuntu Docker image, and then create and run a Ubuntu Docker container. So that's what we are going to do in this video. Let's get started. So if you did not watch my previous video on how to install a Docker container on Ubuntu desktop operating system, please watch the same. Now I'm going to open the terminal window. Either you can click on this icon, terminal icon, or you can do the shortcut as Control Alt T, which will launch the terminal window. I'm sorry, terminal window. So I'm going to run the Docker version command. sudo space docker space iPhone iPhone version. Okay and it's asking a password so i given so it says uh, docker 24.0.6 is installed right now we are going to see all the docker images were uh, stored on the uh, docker hub repository so you can pull it from there so for that what you need to do is sudo docker you can use a pull command and followed by the image name which is Ubuntu. Okay. You can give the colon latest tag name or specific tag name you want to get it. I'll just go with the latest tag name it is available. So I'm going to run this command. So it is going to take the latest as a ta uh, tag name and it's pulling the Docker image. So in based on inter uh, based on internet bandwidth, it will take some time. So the Docker image has been pulled. So to verify whether the Docker image is downloaded on your local repository, you can issue a command called sudo docker images. Yes, my Docker image Ubuntu is downloaded and the tag name is latest. Now what we need to do is we need to create a Ubuntu Docker container from this Docker image, right? Now we are going to create and run the Ubuntu Docker container. So I'm going to explain you step by step how you can do it. Start with the first command. So basically what we will do is we'll run sudo docker run iPhone iPhone name, which is nothing but you can give the Docker container name and followed by the Docker image. So if you don't provide this option, even though it, it will create a Docker container without any name also. So now let's run this. So what it does, what it does, uh, what has happened is it has created a container and then it stopped. So basically when you create a container, Ubuntu container, it will open as, it will launch as a single process so then it will get ex exited. Okay. So in order to use the container, so there are multiple ways you can use it. Now let's see whether the container is created. So I will explain you how to uh, open the container in interactive mode as well as the in background uh, as a background thread or background process as a daemon. Now let's do docker ps command. So no container is running you put hyphen a so so we created a uh, name called uh, uh, my ubuntu container one so this is the name we given so it is this container is created and it got executed so every container it will have unique id for it okay so so the container is created but it's closed so let's explore the next command what is going to do is i will create a one more container my Ubuntu container and I'm going to launch it in interactive terminal mode, right? So it is going to launch, it's going to create a container and log into the container. Okay, now let's run this command. So the moment uh, I ran this command, it has created the uh, container and it opened the uh, 
terminal window which is like uh, that containers terminal window using the uh, root user okay you can just do ls so it show you the in the root folder whatever the folders and files are there it is going to see it okay if i do exit out of it then the container will get exited right it will not no longer it will run so again it will we will run the sudo docker ps see nothing is running so two also created successfully and we were able to run the simple uh, uh, linux command ls command so it got exited now we want to understand how you can run this docker container on background thread so that people will try to use it okay by logging into the container and use it so for that what you need to do is sudo followed by docker followed by run and same you can give the container name and it is interactive i need to use the another option called ifn d which will run this container as a background thread and one more option is there uh, i will give you the command you can try yourself and let me know whether this works so even this way also you can make the container as a background thread so i am going to explain now going to run this command so it sees it's given the container id so the container let's clear the screen and say sudo docker ps so you see this is a containers running okay so container 3 is running you can log into this container by executing the command so sudo docker execute if uh, it which is like interactive shell and provide the container id so this is my container id copy this and uh, i'll put this i'll prefix this command so run, i'll run this command okay so i think this site is not needed docker exe okay and the bash yeah so you need to provide the bash command to log into your uh, container okay so i'll make note of this as well so if you don't provide the bash so it is not actually executing so you need to uh, say sudo docker exec followed by it interactive mode and then the container id followed by bash command now you are in this so let's say cat of in etc folder you have lsb so so whatever the container that docker container i'm running it is of ubuntu 22.04 lts right so this way you can create a docker containers using your docker images so i told you how to pull the docker images as well i hope this video is helpful if you have any question please post your question on the comment section of this video i am happy to help you thank you so much friend